What's up everyone, Takedown here. Today I'm going to be doing my second conspiracy video. You guys seem to really enjoy the first one I did where I talk about Flat Earth. So today we are going to see if the moon landings were fake. Let's get right into it. So right now, there are 5 to 10% of Americans that believe the moon landings were faked. A lot of people believe the moon landings were faked because of the space race. In the late 1950s, the USA and Soviet Union were the biggest forces on Earth. And we're both trying to prove that they were the superior country. They were always trying to outmatch each other. And space became the new proving ground. They felt that whoever could master space flight first which show the rest of the world that they were superior. Both countries started to launch their own satellites into space. Then in 1961, Russia made a huge leap by successfully having their rocket complete an orbit around the Earth and return safely. The following year, JFK made the speech telling the world that the USA will land an astronaut on the moon by the end of the decade, which was only seven years at the time. Now at the time, most people believed that it was in fact happening, but now in today's day and age, some people believe that at the time as the years went on and it got closer to the end of the decade, the US realized that they would not be able to accomplish this goal, so they got the help from movie makers to fake the moon landings. That way they could claim that they won the space race and make the world think that they were superior. So to me, this is all very interesting. So right now I'm going to be sharing some pictures with you guys that a lot of people believe is evidence proving that the moon landings were fake. Okay, so the first picture here, we're going to focus on the right side of the picture. In this picture, it is Buzz Aldrin coming down off of the eagle. If you look at the bottom of the picture, it looks like he should be in the shadow of the spacecraft. But if you look at the right side of Buzz Aldrin himself, it appears like he is glowing. A lot of people that believe that the moon landings were fake believe that this is proof that it was studio lights producing that light. But if you actually think about it, the moon is super reflective. And what I believe we are seeing in this picture is the little light that is in the area is reflecting onto Buzz Aldrin and it is making him appear like he is glowing even though technically he should be in a shadow right now. I could not find a picture with a close up to see this, but we are going to focus on the reflection in his helmet. But a lot of people believe that in the reflection you can see studio lights, you can see cameramen, and a bunch of other stuff that if the moon landings were actually real, they shouldn't be there. But when you think about it, you have to remember this was back in 1969. The camera and picture footage was very terrible, and the process to take it from the camera to an actual hard copy picture or video was a very long process, and a lot of things back then could have gone wrong. Some of the stuff that some people claim they are seeing in the reflection could simply be a smudge because of developing the picture. So now the second picture, what we're going to focus on first is the background. As you can see in the background of this picture, it is just a black sky. Some people believe that this is proof that the moon landings were fake and claim the movie makers purposely left out the stars because a lot of astronomers and a lot of other people would try to prove that they were fake. So a lot of people think the movie makers just left them out. But in reality, like I just said, the moon is so reflective. So if you are standing on the moon and you are trying to look up into the sky, you will not see any stars. Some of the guys that actually landed and walked on the moon actually claimed this as well, stating that if they look up in the sky with their naked eye, they were not able to see any stars. A lot of people respond to this saying it is not with the naked eye. It is, in fact, with a camera. But once again, you have to remember this is back in 19... 1969 qualities of the cameras was not the greatest so they did not take in a lot of light they were set down to take this picture and then they were picked up pretty quick if the astronauts had in fact set down the camera and let the camera actually focus you would be able to see the stars in the background of the image the last thing we're going to look at in this picture is the American flag a lot of people claim that if the moon landings were real whenever they set up the American flag it would simply fall down because there was no air supporting it to make it look like it was waving in the air. But what the astronauts did, and you can clearly tell by the top of the flag in this picture, they put rods in the flag to help support it to make it actually stand out so you could see what flag it is. A lot of people claim that the bottom of the flag should not be waving, but the astronauts themselves claim that the bottom rod got bent. That's why it appears like it is waving in the pictures. And also 
the fact that even though there is zero gravity, if you look at a video showing this, the only time that the flag actually looks like it is waving is whenever the astronaut moves or hits the flag. In total, there were six moon landings that the US did. The first one was in July 1969, and the last one was in December 1972. So now I am going to be sharing with you whether or not I believe the moon landings were real or fake. So I strongly believe that the first moon landing was in fact fake. I believe that the US simply ran out of time and they quickly realized that they were not going to be able to hold the promise made by JFK saying that they were going to land a man on the moon by the end of the decade. So they could win the space race, making the world think that they were the superior country. However, I believe the last four recorded moon landings were in fact real. I think they just needed a little bit more time so they could actually go and make this actually happen. Now, I'm not saying that we're never going to go back to the moon. I really would like to see that because that would be something very interesting to see in my lifetime. So hopefully someday that does happen. I would really love to see that. Also, since this is my second conspiracy video, down in the comments, let me know what other conspiracies you guys think I should explore. What other conspiracies would you guys like to see me dive into, do a little bit more research, and share in a future conspiracy video? I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. I really, really enjoyed making it, looking into the research, and putting it all together for you guys. And with that being said, I am going to leave this video here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.